134. We have to the south, fully automatic gunfire, uh, uh, south of the department. Fully auto gunfire south of the department. Really? That's over there. 50 plus this guy's downtown. 50 plus rounds. Wow. That's like Indiana Avenue or yep. you know, on that area. Yep. Prairie, Indiana Cumble. Clear. Shot spotter should get that one. Negative, it's uh, a bit south. Not sure where. Clear, south of 701 sample, fully automatic on fire. Hear that? Yep. Wow. 701 to all units, be advised I'm getting quite a few shots of water notification. First one's at 1701 South Scott Street showing two rounds. Second one is 1820 South St. Joseph showing 14. Your third is going to be 1831 South Main. It's going to be showing 10 rounds. And your last one is 201 East Calvert showing nine rounds. Dang. That happened quick if that cop thought it was all fully auto. Otherwise, location for the third, I had a lot more shots than that. I'm clear. Yeah, but some of them could have overlapped. Yeah, I, I've heard that. Remember when we heard the fully auto shots and it only caught so many? Okay, uh, I will put you on 1701 South Scott to begin with. Forty-five. I'm getting told that we have a victim at St. Joseph Street. Oh, yeah. 1820 South St. Joseph showing 15 rounds. We're getting additional calls on it. 45, we need to direct that way. Wow. St. Joseph. 947. There's a, shoot there's, a, there's a shooting, you guys. We're on our way, but we got to be careful because there's going to be a lot of cops going to these calls because there's a lot of different scenes. Wow, that's a lot of shooting scenes, bro. St. Joseph Street. St. Joseph. Yep. That's over behind Ivy Tech. Around, they're hearing 30 gunshots. Oh, wow, dude. Watch your medic 1661, truck one, South St. Joseph Street and Milton Street. Priority to Milton Delta, St. Joseph. South St. Joseph Street and Milton Street. One thirteen hours. No black, we're in southbound. All traffic. We're in southbound Dayton. Michigan. He's on Michigan. Michigan. Are they chasing a vehicle? I'm running south on Dayton. I'm on Michigan. I'm on Michigan. South on Michigan. Go that way. Yep, they're running, he's running south on Michigan. He might come out over towards Maine, but... Heard him say he's got... Alley between Michigan and Maine. But this, yep. All right, y'all, stay tuned, y'all. I'm Dayton. It's heating up right now. We're not in the same hill. What was your last? Bypass eastbound from Clover Road. Have a Hyundai, Hyundai Santa Fe. Almost at the medium. Heading eastbound. Plate is Edward Thomas X-ray six five three. They have at least a 20 second heads up. 
khoang Xin No more to Dayton, thank you. Or Dayton and uh, Michigan, rather. Dayton, Michigan. We're being advised we have additional victim on Chapin. Whoa, fuck. 1627 Chapin. Wow. Second victim, you guys. 28, we'll have to Chapin. 28. Chapin's Chapin's gonna be over there. We're uh, letting him know now. 95 Chapin. Damn, bro. Medic 5, 1627 Chapin Street. Priority 2, Delta 1627 Chapin Street. 116 hours. She got that left the scene. Towards more. Okay, the West Street, they just put it in the It's going to be a couple blocks down the road from my house. We'll be around to see if they're coming over. That thing's smoking at me, but. That's right, that's right. Oh, that car is toast. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, that's for this call, maybe uh, put in Tom George Queen, Tom George Queen 348, Tom George Queen 348. Go up. Come back to the Nissan, huh? just so we have in the call. Go up a little. Where, 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 go up a little. Or should I pull on the sailors? Just, uh, are we are we right at the intersection? It's up more. No, it's up another. Heading northbound on Michigan Street from Chapin. Is that information on it? Heading northbound on Michigan There's. I don't want to be on the street and get hit. No. Where's the normal one? Lock this thing up. Yeah. All right, let me grab my chest. Four one three one just for forty three. I don't. Know. All right, I'm ready. As soon as I get out. All right, y'all. We got two different scenes. Two different victims so far. Just cameras on. All right, y'all. Then we're probably gonna go see what's going on here, and then we'll go to the the other scene if we can. If not, we'll get them both here in a second. Let's do this first one first. All right. All right, y'all. Whoa, somebody came out of there. He's getting ready to track a dog, I believe. Look. Where's the victim? guys I'm gonna be in this chat so I might need uh, if me and freedom split up might need to uh, have you guys communicate for me a little bit right here's the ambulance y'all There ain't a police escort with that. All right, St. Joseph is gonna be down here. Or, uh, it's, it's over. But it seems like they came across, the, the, there was a lot of shooting going on. Let's just put it that way. This is, uh, I believe, Calvert up here. 
where it crosses. Imagine they're looking for victims everywhere. Yep, they got the tape up down here, you guys. There were so many gunshots fired that the officer was calling out from the police department and he heard it. Called it out as automatic gunfire. This is the first scene where a victim was. We'll have to stay back behind the tape. You going further back, bub? I'm gonna go right about right in front of you. All right. You're good, right where you're at. All right, I'm gonna cross. Okay. This looks like the victim's car right here almost. Sorry, y'all. You guys, tell if you're in here, go over to Freedom Chat and tell him I came down Milton to St. Joseph. That's where I'm at, right in front of the vehicle. I got it there. I'm at Milton and St. Joseph. That's M I L T O N. All right, you, yeah, I got him. He's here with me. Hey, bub. Vehicles over here. All right, all right. No problem. All right, y'all, you can see there's a ton of stuff out here. They're taking a whole nother block, y'all, so we got to get out of here. They're getting ready to tape. Somebody got hit. This, two people got shot, one here and one over on uh, taping. All right, y'all, we'll, we'll try to get to the other scene. Man. What's up, y'all? They're taking this whole block, y'all. 
all the way to Michigan Street, Milton and Michigan. If you guys see, the torch lounge is right there. That's where the strip club is. Now, Chapin, they said, is it 1600 block of Chapin? Yes. The 1600 block of Chapin is going to be straight over that way. So that's the second victim. This, this was a... Yeah. We can, uh, if you want, let's we'll go down and around. Or you want to go this way and around. Okay. All right, y'all. We're going to try it. I mean, we got cops everywhere, y'all. All down Michigan. I mean, this is, a, this is a huge scene, bro. This is one of the bigger ones I've seen. Wow, dude, that was a lot of shooting, bro. Makes you wonder if it wasn't like two, like at each other. We'll go down this alley. Now, I've been caught in this situation before where I get halfway down the alley and then they start pulling tape across me. Yeah. The next, after this split in the alley, is St. Joseph Street where it happened at, so. There's another, that, that, that sounds like that might be the ambulance for the second victim, dude. Hold on, y'all. Might be. They are overwhelmed right now, y'all. They're stretched thin right now. This just did it. They didn't call out another victim, did they? Over there. Alright, we're just directly over from where we were, you guys, where they pulled the tape. I'm sure they'll push us back again. Oh shit, I, I knew it. Every time I every time we get to go home we get we get stung with a we're alright though. <laughs> I've been in this situation before. Yep. Above that stump. Get get that stump. You're alright, man. Oh man. Nine there's there's more than there's more than one vehicle involved bro there's several vehicles they were calling out automatic gunfire yeah you know, from the station that's like those ghost guns and stuff, y'all. Where? I'm not sure.
there's cops everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere, dude. This whole neighborhood. I remember back in the day on that building down there, I think it's, what is that, on the corner of Calvert down there? There was a shooting that happened inside that building back in the day, apartments. Been a several years now. Well, the cameraman, I mean, honestly, this is a huge scene. It's not just that street. There's another, there's a whole nother side, you guys, we, we would have to drive to. Hey, if you want, we can we can go over to that Chapin and see what. Chapin, yeah, just to get a some footage. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah let's do it. All right, All right you guys. Um, this scene right here is 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 huge. So we're gonna go to a different side of where the other the second victim was that was called out. This is one of them situations where so many shots were fired in a, such a vast area that I hope it's just only the two but I, I, I'm not happy that there's two victims that's for sure let's just hope they're alright the first thing an officer radioed in sound or you know hearing sounds of automatic gunfire and then the shot spotters started going off and from a lot of different locations. So Yeah, Indiana and Chapin. <clears throat> Probably multi multi or multiple vehicles involved. Yeah that and uh, <sighs> multiple shooters. Yeah, I don't think it was just one shooter. Oh, it was, it was, they were stacking shots, shooting at each other. That's why the cop probably even thought it was auto. If it was an auto. Yeah, I've heard it, I've heard it. We heard it, what, a couple weeks ago? When we were at that, uh... When we were at that call with that charger that wrecked in the alley. And then there was a chase. I mean, it was busy that night, too. It got busy quick. All right, I'm going to cross, bro, while we can. I'd cross now, bub. Yeah, they're down here. So there's obviously a shot spotter notification or a... Remember, they said a suspect was running in the alleys, too. So they were, they were on a foot pursuit. It was just crazy. It got crazy real quick, you guys. People say, why are you recording? Because the news won't do it. They're too scared to come into these neighborhoods at night, you guys. It's 100% the truth. Alright, wait on F2F and then we'll we'll go to the second shooting scene. Where we were at was Milton and St. Joseph. So we'll go to the second scene. <clears throat> wow bro, that's huge scenes. That ain't even the scene. It, I mean, the scene is still going. We're, we're going to where the other part of the scene is, you guys. This is a huge investigation. Like in area Washington, all in for White Dodge Avenger, northbound driving erratic, plate of 840, Edward George X-Bray, Washington, all in. They just told you that they're not going to them type of calls. Yeah. They told you unless it's an active call. Yeah, again. Yep, I heard that. Okay. They're they're sleeping right now. They I mean their reporters can't even figure out how to buy a gimbal or turn their phones on to broadcast their lives. They go to college for this stuff, not us. They'll be out later with their tripod in the morning when it gets daylight. Someone at party at two oh seven North Sixty Way. 
933. Are stating her boyfriend's refusing to leave. He'll be in room 220. Male white named Tyler. Nice, Chris. 207 North Victory. You said Indiana, bro. Indiana. Yeah. Indiana to Chapin. You'll probably see sirens when you turn left here. Is this Indiana? Indiana? Yep. There comes the ambulance from the other victim, you guys, right now. Might as well just let him go to the hospital. Here's the second ambulance. That ain't good. It took him a while to get that person. Hopefully they got him stabilized. So you're going to be looking here in Washington, Allen for White Dodge Avenger, northbound driving erratic, plate of 840, Edward George, X-ray, Washington, Allen. So we're going to all units responding to 207 Dixie Way. The parties are separated in different rooms. She hung up, no answer, I'll call back time too. Crazy. I wonder if they've even right, been in party at two hundred seven North Dixie Way. To some of the spots, you know, where the where the shot spotters were to pick up. Her boyfriend's refusing to leave. It'll be in room two twenty. Male white named Tyler. Two hundred seven North Dixie Way. Man, dude, I, it makes you wonder how they correlate all that when they stack shots and how it, because it does pinpoint an area. Right, but I'm saying if we were to have been to the areas outside of where the people were shot. I know, and checking for victims, yeah. Well, that and, and cases. Because there were several different areas they called out where shots were fired. It almost sounded like they were like chasing each other, shooting each other almost, you know what I mean? The way, yeah. but at, at the same time with one victim being here and then one over there, that means... I, I think it started over here because yep. they, they were getting the... With our youth work girl, female, with trouble breathing. Wow. This is a huge scene, y'all. This is a big investigation tonight. I would not be surprised if Room people come here. Room 220, all units responding to 207 Dixie Way. The parties are separated in different rooms. She hung up. No answer on callback time. John Lodge is 34. Yeah, 138. What part of 1600 Chapin? They left them, right? It's, see the lights? There's some lights there, but... Uh, Isn't this... Oh, this is Kevin. Mm -hmm. Remember, taping comes through the light. This is where I got T-boned at. They knocked me in that field before that building was that's there. That's ballsy as hell, man. The department's literally... Yeah, that's... The, the guy at the department heard it, so... 200 yards away. Yeah. Yeah, I just cleared the jail. Up somewhere. Um, I don't know. Six. Caller is now saying you can disregard. She's refusing service. There's a back there. Back, back there, there on one at that side room. I'll look it up real quick. I can go back right here. Just or turn around. Three hours going on. 1600 Chapin, South in Indiana. Yeah, that's 1400, so it's up here. It's on that side road that goes up towards the. Uh, where we got a well, call the other night, remember I'm where they were going to the woods. I'm to a call. Would you like to make 726 viewing for two males? Going through vehicles, walking down the alley now, time lapse of uh, over 10 minutes. Uh, now they're out taking advantage of the cops. They're overwhelmed. They're... 220. Oh, Where's crazy. it at? This way? Straight or right? Straight. Have to be 23. Alright, I'll be transporting one female from Dayton, St. Joe, to 
the DB three miles six two nine zero two. At one forty. Sixteen hundred Chapin, South Bend, Indiana. Vehicle inscription. Who were we getting? Sixteen twenty-five, wasn't it? Something like that. I, I, it was fourteen or sixteen hundred. Well, fourteen was just where we were at. Mr. Walker, medic, two for two hundred and seventy-five. Two for two hundred and seventy-five. Two for two hundred and are you clear on the district of Jamestown? Bitch. That's hey, when we were getting, that we are. When I was walking over there to Milton Street. They're helping that, you back that SUV went 39. by with the rabbit head looking out the window. Really? That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so what? 1171. 11. Hi, Claire, you want to be sent to a call? Would you like to make 726 viewing for two mils? Going through vehicles, walking down the alley now, time lapse of over 10 minutes. My map ain't working for some reason. 1600 block of Sometimes you just South have to, to type it in. I, I, don't, I never was one for that voice stuff because it always puts the wrong... It always puts the wrong stuff. Yeah, they're sending calls at 1500 block of Allen Street for people fighting. Large caramel. Female arguing. No one can see. There is a strong language barrier. So that's all we have. 1500 Allen. Over there. I didn't see nothing there. Do you happen to have a plate on that 34? Paul William Adams, 658. I have to reset this one, too. Vehicle See, I seen the ambulance sitting here, fire truck sitting right here. He was going real slow. Yeah, he's going back to the. I should be looking at my chat. They're telling me where to go. Here. Thanks, Patrick. I'm sorry. Where we see all them people standing out in the street. Yep. That's a whole other scene. That meal between 1017 over here. So they have to notify the answer. Call the 1500 block of Allen Street. People fighting. Caller can hear a male and female arguing. I want to see. There is a strong language barrier. Yeah, just That's all we have. 1500 Allen. I don't see no tape up yet until we get here. Usually how it works, y'all. Hold on, I'll fix the camera in a second, y'all. Go ahead, Bob. You know, we've been over here before for shots, fired calls. I'm looking at vehicles like, you know. Dude, there's an old van. Yeah, 
it looks like they're pulled tape down here, so they're pulling tape, bro. Right here, sixteen twenty-seven, y'all. Driving around shooting, man. 309 312, are you guys on St. Joseph or are you available to dispatch? It's showing front exit door. Yeah, Cox is here, bro. They're having trouble with their tape down there. Focusing on a car over here. Metro is? Thought they closed Metro Homicide down. Don't sound good here. Crazy, bro. Chapter, chapter. It's only like two. They sound like over like 60 or 70 rounds. A lot of rounds fired. Oh, shoot. 
What? Huh? What? Funny. You said they're going to block off the bell and take the vehicle therapy, so I don't want to get you to do it. Well, is that the guy over there? Yeah, we're on Indiana. Yeah, we're in the front. Look, they're back there in the back, bro. Mm -hmm. They're in the back, pulling tape in the alley. Yeah, we, we the bail is already yeah, it's already taped off. The bail's right here. You know, oh. we're behind the tape. These, they're behind the house too, bro. Yeah, they're pulling tape. This house is basically sealed off. It's a crime scene, y'all. Oh, that car's got holes in it, bro. You can see them. We can walk down that way, bro, if you want. Right, Is your car inside this? Huh? Is your car inside this I tape? My car, up. Shit, my car ain't got shit to do with this. I wasn't here. I know, but if it's inside this, you might yeah, want to. Cox is his name. Officer Cox. Officer Cox. Cox, C O X. C O X. Cox. Cox. Hey, Officer Cox. Oh, Cox. Did they tape the tape it too, sir? No, but I'll look it up for the Yeah, F2F's car is down at the other end. They just said they found another vehicle that's got bullet holes yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was that at? I didn't hear it. I kind of put only in progress emergency hold. Two people tied up on this one. Yeah, 34 miles in progress, hold eight. I am clear to below. Thank you. Mm. On Chase and Street, be advised, we got an update from Fire 116 called in city. On his way to Chase for the gunshot. He saw a black Challenger that appeared to be a newer model with a bullet hole in the front of it with fluid leaking. He said the vehicle is somewhere on Kindle between Indiana and Newvale Park. He also mentioned that there are multiple people around the vehicle as well for your 43. Yeah, be sure that was a on scene too. We just found the manpower to the vehicle over there. So far. Northwest, I have a pending call for 723 Allen Street, Bridgewater Party. Heading further, 723 Allen. Hard to say, but some of the, you know, the motivation for some of these 
stuff. She has a lot of this stuff is over in social media. Yeah. Beefs and, and stuff like that. West Jefferson Boulevard, FBI, yeah, in reference to an assault that occurred at an unknown address as the female victim is refusing to give out information. There is an ambulance in route. 621 West Jefferson, FBI. Yeah, there's a mattress. You know, one block east on Kendall. Yeah, Kendall. Huh? And somebody said a, a mine vehicle with additional bullet hole one block east of Kendall. Mm -hmm. Same person, Patrick. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks, Patrick, man. They got all kinds of people's cars roped in, y'all. This one don't seem like they made it, bro. They don't, it don't. I mean, it don't sound good over here. I thought I heard them telling them they, they Metro. Made, uh, yeah, met, uh, yeah. Yeah. But that don't mean that they passed. It could be right. that they're in critical or something. Almost. It's a yeah. Stage, so. It's such a huge crime scene that. This crap got out of control, bro. You know, this very well could have been an innocent person involved if they were driving and shooting each other. No, we can't cut the tape, bro. Automatically disappear. Is still on scene at RBI. The assault happened at a different location, and she walked there. I wouldn't be surprised if they uh. Mishawaka starts like, or county switches, county will start patrolling city here in a few because they're going to be so short staffed. Sean says a, a chick got arrested on St. Joe for punching a cop. Oh shit. Probably a, emotional, bro. Yeah. It gets probably, emotional. You know, probably someone relative <clears throat> or something she wanted to. When people get see, emotional, uh, man. It it, it 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 overtakes them, you know, because it's family or a parent or you know a friend coming up trying to. decided to come to this one just to document this scene as well. But. Two different scenes, huge bro, the area is like huge. And then not huge. to say there's other places where the shot spotter mm -hmm. pulled out, you know, shots and I, who knows if they've even been there to collect. Somebody's see house? If the house is hit. Yeah. She was apparently trying to do Oh my god, what? 
She was what? She was apparently trying to give CPR and they stopped her. Oh, shit. Yeah, the, that's a that's that's one of those in the heat of the moment things. Oh shit, he's in a hurry, bro. Barricading came up like he was the police. Hey guys, are, are they gonna barricade the end of uh, Chapin here in Indiana? They're not gonna talk to you. Well, well, no, I want to know. Yeah, if only get blocked in. only one that's gonna talk to you is Cox. I, I think he said he don't need them all the way down. He just needs them right there. Only one that'll talk is Cox. Cox is down there. <laughs> hey Daisy will tase you my brother let her she had two different kinds of mace one was a like a tear gas and the other was a some kind of pepper spray stuff and he let her he was dumb enough to let her do it and she did So you, just so you know, Daisy will light you up. That's how she gets me in the basement. Alright y'all, just to recap, this is the second scene on Chapin. Where the second victim is. that was called out. I don't know if it was first. It, it seems like the way that it started that this would have been the first scene. The other scene is at Milton and St. Joseph. Um, there's a story that a lady was trying to give CPR to somebody at St. Joseph in Milton and the police stopped her from doing it and she hit an officer. Uh, this week happened. 1600 Kendall. That's right over here, one block over. We can walk up and around. I'll walk around. I'll walk up around. I'm gonna walk around here to see this this uh, this this vehicle that I seen a vehicle smoking right here at Kendall, but I seen a vehicle smoking real bad when we were at the other scene. I'm not sure if it's the same vehicle, 
but it, it was smoking real bad like it was losing oil I'm not sure if it's the same one though because it didn't turn this way off of Michigan it went to actually the other way so could have just been two different vehicles but there's one over here with bullet holes in it and fluids leaking out of it a black charger abandoned yep and they're taping it off right now this is where Cox went if you guys ain't familiar uh, you guys watch the channel a lot Officer Cox is one of those that as long as you don't get in his way or you know just interrupt what he's doing he will let you come up to certain scenes um, he's not gonna let us go up in here past any tape or anything but he'll give you you know an update of what's going on or certain stuff like that he's not gonna give you names details and all that it's just just the narrative of what's going on he's one of the only officers that's been consistent with stuff like that is a third scene now Oh yeah, this thing's got a bullet hole in the door. This thing's all shot up, you guys. That vehicle's hit. Car's got false plates on it. It's got another false plate laying in the back seat.
Michigan City owner, huh? got bullet holes in it as you can see one on the fender up there above the tire and one in the door uh, somebody said it was leaking fluid so there is fluid in the in the road here. There's barricading again. So, this is one block east, just like Patrick was saying. Thanks for the updates, Patrick. Thanks for helping, man. one on the other side too. Bullet hole. This car was taking some bullet holes. We're going to tow this vehicle to the evidence bay. This car is being confiscated for evidence. Lots of casings inside of that vehicle. They say there's a bunch of casings in there from the automatic gunfire. So this car has this car has a fake plate. There's a fake plate in the back seat comes back to a car from Michigan City by the VIN number. There's an actual bullet laying in the seat. God.
back to a Michigan City address by the VIN. Excuse me. I don't know who's who, but y'all be watching y'all stuff all the damn time. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm yes, dear. I'm famously unfamous. <laughs> freedom to film, right? Yeah, that's, that's freedom <laughs> to film, man. Yeah. No problem. I here, here, man. <laughs> I'll give you something real quick. You can... Our link, I got my link wrote in here, but right at the top for YouTube. But that's a copy of the Constitution. Yeah. That way. Yeah, I've been trying to write yeah. my rights and shit. They've been trying to I've seen you around car. somewhere, but I don't know where. You, my fucking deal car is back there. It's the Batmobile, but it's been broke down. That's the car that's been getting you know, kind of hot because I got one for the model. Sometimes it wants to go, sometimes it wants to go slow. <laughs> I can't get this one, but it's up. But it's a truck, and you know, it's just got to more of a... I'm going to take my time and then get up. But, you know, but you're all right? Yes, sir. All right, man. All right, man. Good deal, man. One of our viewers, y'all. It's always awesome when you get the viewers that come up and know who you are. So this, there's a lady over here that says she got video cameras, so... Yeah. Pretty wild. Still flying? Sorry? Still flying? Yeah, I've uh, actually picked out the aircraft I want. There's a guy that just built it, but he built it with an Aero V, which is a half Volkswagen engine. They're good engines, but. I want a little bit more horsepower. The uh, Sonics B has folding wings, and you can put a 120 horsepower Jabiru, which is an Australian yeah, engine in it. Yeah. And at that, you get about 200 miles an hour cruise at 8,000 feet. So that's kind of. I knew someone that had a hyperlight and yeah. they had a Jabiru. Yeah, those are good engines yeah. for sure. I mean, light homing is always good too, but light homing is like twice the price. Exactly. Like the original aircraft I wanted, but you know what the long EZ is? Yep. yep. I wanted that's a long a EZ, a and team. most people put like an 0320. Yep. But if you put an 0360 in that bad boy, it'll go up to 250 miles an hour at 10,000 feet. Yeah. The only problem is that it doesn't have folding rings like the Sonics does. And it's $450 to hangar at, at South Bend Airport. So that's why I'm going with the Sonics, even though it's a little slower. No, he's got folding wings. I can put it on my trailer, take it back to my house, put it in the garage, and not pay for it for fifty dollars a month to do it. I, I used to have a, I used to have a weed hopper, and I was able to fold the wings and put it on my trailer. Yeah, I had a powered paraglider for a while. That was, yeah, there were a bunch of cops that had those. The problem is that, I mean, you get out into those thermals and you shoot up well, 20,000 feet. I, I always feared a collapse. If you guys don't know, F2F like F2 and Cox are talking airplanes right now. A lot of people don't know that Freedom to Film knows how to fly. That's why a lot of them end up hitting power lines because, you know, you suddenly hit a cold spot and drop. What the hell are you going to do? Right. I bought a reserve for it, but still, I just felt a little fear of it. If it wouldn't drain my bank account, there's an auto gyro right now that I can buy for 4300 bucks. Totally operable. It just needs, a, needs the engine gone through. Have you been on those? I've seen a guy. Uh, it's like a motorcycle for the sky, man. There's no windscreen. Free, there's free no road, dashboard. Free auto rotating rotor. But yep. I've seen a guy when I was younger crash one of those. And it was, well, I mean, that's it a was problem. Lucky he, but it, had, it was a Benson gyro, and it had the... Uh, What's the, 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 the engine? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
And it, what was that, a two stroke? That they, right, that's what the old ones They, had, they yeah. used them on drones, I, from what I understand, back in the day. Yeah, nobody goes two stroke anymore. Yeah, and, and his engine lost the cylinder or something, and, and he crashed, man. And, and I, I don't know how he went, but I, I witnessed the whole thing. Well, that, if you're, that, that if you're experienced with the auto gyro and, you're, and you lose power, you can all safely rotate. descend yeah, if you've yeah, got yeah. some place to land. Right. Yeah, I've, fact, I've kind of walked long. away from flying. I mean, I got a family now. Taking more tape. Are they going to be taping it up or down there? I'm yeah, taping. we've got too many people coming up on this car, so. Oh, you're going to do it here? He's going to go up to the stop sign and tape it off. Right. I mean, we're, we're you're good. Very much. Cox, no, good. Cox, what do you got? Like three scenes now? Uh, yeah. At least three scenes. Probably more than that. We have yeah, well, that. Three major scenes and a couple minor scenes. And then the shot spotters that you know, Well, this was a moving gun battle, so. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of people coming up on this car. They're trying to keep people back from this car. There's, I'll tell you a secret. People keep coming up. Oh, that's the owner of this car. They're stopping that car. They're getting ready to stop that dude. They're saying that's the owner of this black car. So you come back to the scenes, guys. You know how many times I've said it. People return themselves to the scenes and then they get themselves taken to the department for questioning. That's what happens. That's the, that's the owner of this. They're asking Pokagan to respond to calls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
nine times out of ten you guys there this is going to result in a ride down to the police department for the interrogation room just because it's such a there's two victims This is huge, like, area of shooting, like. I mean, the office. That's all right. <laughs> Pink Taco said, Daisy's a traitor. She's over in Freedoms and not yours. <laughs> She's probably on both. <laughs> She's got the, the power button. She's got the laptop at the desk. She's got everything. The TV, the... You know it. She's probably got three or four devices laying right around. <laughs> Look, she gave it right back to Pink Taco. <laughs> I appreciate you guys stuck it out in here tonight. Everybody that's been in here popping in and out. Yeah, thank you guys Everybody for coming in here tonight. tonight. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I can't check right now. If you if you don't know F two F Freedom number two in the film it's easy to find. <clears throat> There's I'm going to go back down here to around the corner before we leave because they did mention that Metro which Metro Homicide was closed down, but that's what they were calling in was obviously probably Mishawaka County and city police to, to help investigate this. This is a massive scene, you guys. Out of these guys' space because I already know that if he's the owner of this vehicle, if he's not leaving, thank you, Cletus. Right on. <laughs> right. So, if that is the owner of this vehicle, you guys, then it's uh. It's leaking fluids. You can see it underneath. But it is leaking fluids. Oh. You can't tell in the video, but... just looking out for the super chat you guys They already said that this car is going down to the evidence bay, which 
uh, South Bend Police Department, what they do is they'll, instead of processing the vehicle here on scene, what they'll do is they'll tow it back to the department and they'll go through it with a fine tooth comb at the evidence bay. That's where they'll lift prints, they'll take anything, evidence, pictures, you know how it goes. That basically just confirms that he's going to be going to the department for questioning after this one, I believe. Just because this car is involved with two victims. There's no way after returning to the scene that you're walking away after that. We're going to the detective bureau. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Both of them. The girl and the guy, probably. Did you see the reaction on Tops' face when that car lights lit up? Like, <laughs> like yep. Are you on Milton? Uh, I think. Have you ever looked into like those kit boxes or those, those are folding wings? Yeah, those are really slow little kit box. Yeah, it's but they're still I, 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 I love stolen. All right, bro, go live and just get that. It doesn't want to gas. Don't go fast. They don't go very fast. Yeah. Uh, but you can get in and out of tight. I want a, the gyro for pump, like to break your motorcycle right. pump. Yeah. The other one's like, glad to go see my dad. It's a 10 hour drive, but it's a two hour flight. Have you looked at like them RV4s or RV6s? I have looked they're, at they're, them. Those are fast. Yeah, but they're not full wings. They've got removable wings, but they're getting two right. people. With, right. the, uh, with the Sonics, get underneath there, you pull the pin, fold it, pull the pin, fold it. Oh, well, they told him he's free to leave. They said you can trailer up to 45 miles an hour, but I don't have enough for a trailer. My house is right next to it. When I had my all trailer, I had to go We're, uh... 
we're getting ready to get taped in, y'all. They told him he's free to leave. I'd leave. I already done did the hand gesture of zip the lips, and they don't. People don't listen, you guys. They're, you know, it's you can't basically preach anything to them. But it's a different generation now, you guys. It's not old school no more. It's a new school, and people just think that they're going to talk their way out of things now, and they forgot about lawyers and everything else. They're taping all these vehicles so, off now. And I ended up settling down in the field and <clears> the Carberry Road because I was trying to get back to the airport, but I wasn't gaining any. any so I went off the throttle and went up there. There was a field under me and set it down, and the guy was cool when he arrived at the airport to get my transit. Captain Andrews spent tons on his. He put wheel pants on the wheels. I just built a cheap trike to set because mine was a backpack unit. Well, I was trying to explain to him, dude. That thing, that your, your parachute's not going to let you go more than 25. Right, right. It doesn't matter yeah. what you do. You take off, you're climbing at 20, 25. You can't, it's, it's, that, at 20, that wing 20. will not let you go. It's no. 25 mile an hour parachute. Now, there are trimmers on it um, that you can let out to, to kind of change the angle of the, the, the pitch of it to, to get the wing farther forward. But then you have a greater risk of, of collapse in the leading edge of the, the wing, you know, once you let the back of it up a little bit higher. Uh, but I never had anything like that happen, but this, that gust that scared the world. That bullet missed somebody by mere oh, yeah. you're going inches. Yeah, you're, you're, you're going along for the ride. There's no getting out of that. That vehicle was involved in a shootout, you guys. It's got a bullet hole on the other side, too, I believe. I enjoyed flying though. I, I have a lot of hours in all I've had five different ones in the time. Yeah, but they got everything from them, all their info and everything.
were they towing us to the station then? To... It's up to MHU. Oh. I don't know if it'll be. Now is. Depends on what the witnesses say. If the witness said somebody missed our entry on, then yeah, they'll book the sniper for, for doing all that. Yeah, we're definitely we're not going to crack it open here. If it gets cracked open, it'll be taken back to the bay and get a search warrant. Yeah. The Milton Street one looked chaotic. Yeah. I'm not sure what kind of car. It was a black car, though. I'm not sure if it was crashed or not. It was kind of sideways, but it looked like... From what I heard, that a lady was trying to do CPR... She was stopped by officers, and it got chaotic. But I'm, you know how it is. You only hear hearsay. So, but uh, I know the ambulance got the hell out of there real quick. Um, is Metro Homicide still? together or is it just they're using their equipment? We, uh, I don't know who got the equipment. I think we got it because we had the most people in the unit. Although I couldn't be sure. But it's still combined between Mishawaka County and city, no, right? No more combined. There is no better homicide. No? Their own homicide squad. Really? Yeah, this one stretched everybody thin tonight. Yeah. Now, is that plane you're talking about, does that fall into the sport pilot class? It does. If I keep it under, uh, it has to, you what, can't go faster than 120 miles an hour. Okay. Uh, for sport pilots, you can only have yourself and one of the birds. Right. You can't have a full seater. And you can't fly uh, after dark, right? You can't fly after dark, so you can go high up far. Right. So, just so you guys know, this has turned into a homicide investigation. Um, I don't know where the scene of the homicide is. Um, it, it just doesn't sound good all the way around. But it was a uh, it was a shootout driving. Um, I don't know if the other car was wrecked where we were at, but. It seems like it originated over here because if you look straight through the field that's where the police department and jail and everything is and from what the call came out as an officer at 701 sample which is the police department heard automatic gunfire over 50 rounds of course um, shot spotter came in and started notifying of different locations of these shots being fired um, I do know that a victim was taken from Milton and St. Joseph Street there was somebody running down the alley if you guys remember they were chasing that person down the alley on foot and then also a little bit after that the call came in that on Chapin 1600 block there was another shooting victim um, while we were on Chapin, we figured out that there was a car, this black car that's here, was shot up and leaking fluids, and a person showed up and claimed the car, gave the police all their information, and it's now became a homicide investigation, and it's probably going to be a huge investigation of course um leo is that car wrecked over there does it look like it wrecked
And then this guy's back again, you guys. Like, hanging around. Uh, so, we got huge scene, you guys. I'm gonna walk back around the corner where we came from. I'm gonna walk back around just to see if somebody showed up. Um, did the public information officer come over there? So I guess the public information officer was going to St. Joseph and Milton. But as you know, you're not they're not gonna have information you guys until they investigate all this. There's there's too much to put together to have an answer. It looks like all the fluids from that car are right here on the ground. And then it just parked there. But I imagine Cox's They're gonna go up there and probably talk to this guy again. I tried, I already done told him I gave him the symbol to zip it and he's not gonna do it. Hey. This car's going to the bay, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to walk back around and see if homicides came over here or not. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, me, yeah, they're taking this car to the bay for evidence, collecting, and forensics. You guys have a good night. How are we going, y'all? <laughs> yeah, thank you, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Well, I mean, that, that car, it seemed like over there what was happening, Leo, was a woman was trying to render that person aid. They were shot, and when the police came, you know, they probably got hysterical because somebody said that, you know, a woman battered somebody over there, but, you know, you know how these scenes get chaotic like that when, you know, people freak out. It's just part of the the whole heat of the moment thing. Um they've called metro homicide yes metro homicide has been called over here. Yeah. Uh, it's not sounding good bro at all like well, yeah this is a homicide yeah he's, he's a good officer i thought you guys were getting ready to go say i thought he was going to say fuck this job and go fly <laughs> i would love to man. You know what he's doing when he retires. Yeah. He's actually been one of the nicest, you know, out of all the South Bend cops, I have to say that Cox has been, like, the most kosher and professional, you guys. I mean, you get ones that are... He's probably one of the ones that's helped train some of the guys, too. just goes to show you you go to different departments and how they act you know you can you know you can sit there and have a conversation with somebody and not have to be an asshole you get you get more done that way I think yeah this car is totally shot up now whether it was involved in a rolling shootout or something don't know but they're processing it here with pictures. I'm sure this car will be taken back to the station. They have, to, they have to take all the pictures and evidence they can before they move it.
Reach on, America, Japanka. Anytime the EMTs show up or, you know, you got to get out of the way so they can do their job and render aid, you know, they're the ones with the actual equipment to, you know, even though people are, it just happens, you know, hopefully she don't, you know, it doesn't result in like a charge or something, they understand she was hysterical, but. You're going to get just depends on the situation, you guys. Sounds like this was dramatic from the start. Yeah, the one up here in the driveway, yes. The Cadillac tears. Definitely part of the investigation. So there's three cars involved. Because there was one there at the first... It's weird because it, it's almost like were three cars involved or was one of them an innocent yeah, victim? In yeah, or... yeah, that just got caught in the middle. <laughs> I get whacked every night. Is this an investigator? Mm -hmm. One of the homicide detectives. Uh, Leo said public information officers coming to St. Joseph Street. But she, she's not there yet. But they're not going to have... Leo, there's no way they're going to have all the information. That, they're just going to say what happened, how many victims, yeah, but... They're gathering this information as they go. I mean, I don't even think they've had a chance to go back to all the shot spotter notification locations to even check and see if houses were hit or cars, cars and, you know, sad to say, but somebody could wake up tomorrow and, you know, not hear from a family member and they could be in their house as a victim. There were a lot of shots fired in this, and indiscriminately, obviously. Amanda, it sounds like two. <clears throat> the last I knew. Um, so that's, that's this is a homicide investigation, James. It's a very massive scene. Uh spanning dozens of blocks from I mean yep from Indiana and Chapin Indiana and Kendall all the way over to St. Joseph and Milton um did he say go back in the back? Yeah, a medic. Oh. Um. Or the uh, fire. Um. Medical assist. Whatever. You got to also remember when we arrived on Michigan Street, they were chasing somebody yeah. running in the alley. And I didn't hear anything. Um. It, it could have been somebody like running to get the hell out of Dodge, right, even right, you know. Right. But there were still shots going on. Yeah, there were still shots being fired until. This was a driving. There's three different vehicles involved with this, and this is one at a residence here. Um, we're on Chapin in Indiana, right here in Dubail. 
So Chapin and Dubail and Chapin in Indiana, it's blocked off. But one block to the east, it, Kendall is blocked off to Indiana because there's a car there with bullet holes that they're they're just gonna have to process all these vehicles, you guys. Yeah, he probably went around. Yeah. They're, they're gonna if you, it's up this. to you if you want to you want to I mean we might as well because they're, they're gonna be on this all night man. you want to head back over to the other one and see yeah, what we can the one on St. Joseph yeah. Yeah. yeah all right you guys we're gonna go back to the one over on St. Joseph and Milton and uh let's see if we can't catch what's going on over there and get you guys we'll get a different angle than what we had before we'll park somewhere else and come up a different way uh if leo if you're watching where where's your location bub but we can always i don't know leo's there i know i seen panda there too i think i'm not sure I've never seen panda come over here. no but Main thing is, you know, don't forget that somebody may have lost their life in this, you guys, for nonsense. We gotta, we gotta get it. South Bend needs some help with stopping the violence, you guys. This isn't what we need. This isn't what the kids need to wake up to every day, that's for sure. You know, I'm starting to see something that I'm, I, I don't really like it. And, it. and I've noticed it in a lot of scenes. But, and I'm going to be the first to say it. Because I don't hear the media talking about it. What, 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 what's scary to me is, when I come to these scenes... I'm noticing that there's little children standing outside like this stuff's normal. I know, I know, I've seen them up there. Like, wow, and and nice. when that becomes normal to younger generations, that it's like nothing, just another day. Oh, I, I don't know how you turn back from that. I don't know how you get it oh, out good. of somebody's Never. brain that this isn't how it's supposed to be. And that's the sad part is when you come up and see younger, you know, kids standing outside looking at crime tape and crime scenes. And nobody's addressing that part of it. It's desensitizing these kids to the point where they're just used to it. 1471. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty big, man. Patrick. This guy's still there, man. Short. There are kids in the home as well. We're attempting to get further. 827 Ewing for 14 units. They're going to end up coming and swooping him up. I'm taking him in. I'm surprised, I'm surprised they didn't. I'm surprised, yeah, I'm surprised. He's the only standing live like witness that I did this but they don't listen. I've never actually seen it, but they're hearing it. That's like I said, the younger generation don't listen to the older generation. They got their own mindset, like they can talk their way, you know, they they just want to smooth talk their way out of everything, and it's, that's not how it works, man. And they'll find out, though. Well, Amanda, if you have a phone, you can download the app. You won't get to hear everything, but... Hi, Bravo. A lot of it. We had enough. It's up 60 FPS. Clear 301. See, that's what that, that's one reason you gotta have respect for, you know, like a couple of the off, like especially Cox. He knows you're listening to the scanner, so he knows you're not stupid. Whereas other people will play it like you're stupid. 
I, I, far down. Though. Go up, oh, go up. Got, past Milton. They, they close, uh, yeah. Oh, they've closed a lot off, dude. You might have to go like to Ewing or something. Is this closed? I mean, that might hurt. It might be taped off at the intersection, though. Well, we, can, we can go east and then go up. Go up and around? Yeah. And come back? Yeah. Milton's one road from Calvert, I believe. Here's St. Joseph, so they're going to be down there by so where the... So, guys, North East USB on the lookout in the area, 717 yeah. South 23rd, 3rd, to allow music, 717 South 23rd. It is sad. The kids have to, you know. I love it. Are you pickle porn? Devil. This is, this is what gets the kids acting the way they do in school coffee. already. You know, they think it's okay. Seventy-one. Okay. Seventy-one. High problem. Wonder how far they got Three. it taped. High problem. Right there in that corner. We had it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clear three hundred one. This is Milton. Yeah. Well, we'll up another blonde. But yeah. We can. That's as far as we can. Probably go around the other one more over. I don't. I don't see what any kind of public information officer is going to tell anybody right now with this massive of a area. There's no way they've processed enough information to release any details except that this is, you know, what happened basically, what we already know, but obviously the public doesn't know. <clears throat> There's people that are sitting on that street over there that don't even know about this scene. Uh, you know? They just think it happened over there, and it didn't. It, it happened everywhere. Yeah, down here by this apartment complex, we can probably park. See the car. I gotta see how much. Excuse me, charge. Yeah, it's just an initial statement, clear. You know, letting you know what happened. Thirty-six percent. What I'm pulling up. I'm at thirty-six percent of that bullet. Three thousand on for Adam. You are. My battery pack. I'll have to check my battery here in a second. I might have to grab my battery pack too. Gimbal's doing good. Hold on, bear with me, you guys. I gotta do something for some battery power, so. <clears throat> Good, bro. Oh, shoot. We're using the power tonight. We've been out a while, too. All right, y'all. Hold on a second here. What I'll have to do is readjust. Cancel. It, that car does not look wrecked. It, I mean, it looks like they went off the road a little bit to get some help. 
So that's the third vehicle, you guys. Not exactly what sure what type of vehicle. Damn it. Just one thing, you know. I think it is. It's 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 running or they don't touch nothing, bro. That vehicle's been there for a while. I got two battery packs on me, bro. It's just the balance of the gimbal. You, when you put a plug in it, it, the counterweight gets screwed up. Where you at? I ain't seen no media or nothing. Bobby, I thought the same thing, man, but I thought it turned the opposite way, so it must have went back around. Yep. Oh, you ain't saying where you're at, bro. I'm, I mean, there, this is a big scene. Leo's saying ABC 57 pulled up, but I don't even know where he's at. Milton and we're on, Cal I don't, this ain't, yeah, we're on Calvert and St. Joseph. He's on Milton over there where we were when we first came the last time. Yeah, I get a Yeah. There's a better view over here really. Yep, hit the like button or else monkeypox will invade you. It crawls up in your colon when the turd splashes in the toilet and makes water hit your butt cheek. That's how you get monkeypox.
Leo, make sure you show ABC 57 how to turn their phone on. At your nine o'clock, bro. That's him. That's him. They're still sitting there? I didn't see it, I can't through. No, I mean, but they... You with your boy Bernardo about having the camera on. Huh? But they can, they're all all right, right? Sent the press release out because ABC just showed up. Oh, Bernardo said they're having a press conference, a conference 5:30 at Coquitlam Monday. Really? Um, I'll tell you a secret. ABC 57 is sponsored by the Police Federal Credit Unions. Mm -hmm. So that's why they show up and get the information. I don't care if they get mad and somebody said something about it, but that's the truth. Look at your Facebook. It always pops up. Hoops. It's on there as a sponsor. Mm -hmm. So that one over there was a homicide. This, this whole case is the same, and it has turned into a homicide. Okay. Hey, you know what's so bad about it? Hey. The ambulance pulled up after I pulled up the tape street. And then when he pulled out, there was a cop on one side, a box truck sitting on the other side, and he smashed it with his mirror. Huh. Hmm. Nice, isn't it? Crazy. So did you sh did your truck shake during that pursuit? When you come flying oh, past you doing a hundred? <laughs> Cleat as fuck. How, how the hell do you lose them that quick? Yeah. Oh, they actually Dude, he had his lights off. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. He, that he was wicked. Out. There's a dude on a goofy dude when I got here earlier on the damn motorcycle just up and down, up and down, like trying to draw attention. I was like, he's stupid ass. What time is it? You could just tell there was something in the air tonight, man. Look, like it was too quiet last night. Yeah, well, it, it was just in the air tonight, like all over town. When we were driving, you know, it just seemed like, but, but you never know where. Yeah. It always happens in random spots, man. It's crazy. It's just like I was thinking out on the Northwest all day. Guess what? Nothing happened over there. Mm -hmm.
So to recap, you guys, you're going to have to go back to basically before all this started. I don't know time stamps or none of that. I'll, I'll try to get it narrowed down and uh, actually uh, this video will download to my phone. So what I'll do is I'll just go back and snip out where like when this call came in at the officer saying he heard, heard shots from the police department and from that point till this point I will edit it down to the the shooting investigation that way it's just you guys can go through and watch it um this is the first scene we came to this is actually the first scene where person was taken I don't know if they're male female or none of that all I know is that this scene is the first scene where an ambulance arrived and took somebody to the hospital um, they left pretty quick uh, as we were getting here the cops were chasing somebody down the alley on foot maybe they were running because they were scared of gunshots don't know um, just, it's hard telling. These are investigators that are here, part of homicide, that are showing up now. Um, these vehicles, all three of them, will be taken back to the police department, to the bay, where they do all the forensics and go over them, take fingerprints and do everything. Um, there's another scene in the 1600 block of Chapin, there's, where there's a silver Cadillac on the 1600 block of Kendall there is a black charger on the Milton and St. Joseph here there is this black vehicle here and everything else in between will shot spotter notifications everything nothing these investigators that truly investigate this are just arriving on these scenes and it's it's going to be a long Sunday for these guys. The only thing we can do is just hope for the best. But as you heard from Officer Cox, it has turned into a homicide investigation. And we don't know how many victims. And tomorrow morning, daylight, they're going to be back out. They'll send officers out probably to the other shot spotter scenes. There's probably going to be homes and other vehicles with bullet holes in them because this was a mobile shootout uh, it's I don't know if three vehicles were shooting at each other or what but there's a lot to hash out 